Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR. And a lot of you guys already know that I am a huge Sword Art Online fan. I collect the Figmas, I've gotten the games, and they're meh. And I love the show. I don't read the manga, because I hate reading. And as you can tell by the title, Kirito from ALO is finally up for pre-order. Right now it's only on Amiyami, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be going to any other sites like Kirin Hobby, MH Toy Shop, Big Buy Toy Store, whatever. And if there's any listings, I will put them in the description. And personally, I recommend Amiyami out of everybody because it's less than $44 plus shipping on there. Dep depending on the shipping that you go with, it's probably going to cost you quite a bit. I'm super duper pumped for this figure. And anywhere else, I'm assuming it's going to be anywhere from $50 to $60. But again, check the description. I'll always have listings for other sites. I'm actually really happy that I'm not big enough of a channel to have people like try to sponsor me. Like Big Bad Toy Store, for example. They would tell me to go to them. And if any of you know me, I absolutely hate Big Bad Toy Store. The prices are terrible. And the prices that you pay, like plus shipping, you end up paying like $10 to $15 more than any other site, which is freaking terrible. So do not, for the love of God, do not go to Big Bad Toy Store unless it's really, really necessary. To be honest, AmiAmi is seriously the best place to go for Figmas and stuff. Because what's nice is you don't have to give them money up front yet. Like, you just pretty much call dibs, then the figure comes out, then they give you a grace period about like a week, and then you pay for it. Best way is PayPal, so sweet, PayPal's an option. And I have a feeling that Kirito is probably going to be selling out really quick, because the original run for the original Kirito sold out mad quick, went for mad money on eBay. So if you want this figure, pre-order it on AmiAmi immediately, and then don't have to worry about the money until many months later, so you'll be okay. Again, none of these sites sponsor me at all. This is just one collector to another saying, hey, AmiAmi is the best place to go so far. Unfortunately, AmiAmi does not ke collect the, uh, not collect, they don't carry the Mario SH figure arts or the Naruto figure arts anymore. So that is the one, one thing I hate about that site. They don't carry those figures anymore. And those are complete sets I'm trying to get. So as of now, I gotta go through like MH Toy Shop. MH Toy Shop is probably the second best option or Kirin Hobby. I haven't used Kirin Hobby yet. But, from what I've seen, like, I remember I pre-ordered a figure from there before. I remember I pre-ordered the Link Between Worlds Link. And I, I had to cancel my pre-order because I couldn't afford it, honestly. But, from what I've seen, they seem to be, like, a good site. Anime Poco is a terrible site. Do not go to them. Like, like seriously, like, they're seriously worse than Big Bad Toy Store. Like, unfortunately. But, I'm rambling about websites. I need to talk about this figure. I'm sorry. So anyway, it's coming out in August. It's going to be about $44 on AmiAmi. Pre-order immediately. And I do have a listing of what all it's coming with. And I have a feeling that it's actually becoming more than what they list. Because, I don't know. They don't list a lot of options. I have the AmiAmi listing right now. And it says it's coming with the main figure base. Because that's obvious. And then it's talking about the faces that it has. It has a grinning face, a teeth clenching face, and a surprise face. And then it also says about Unity Walks and Exc Excalibur. I'm assuming those are swords. Excalibur being the gold one, I assume. And Unity Walks, I believe that's a black sword. And I have a feeling, just like the newer Figmas with the sword wheeling characters, they're going to have a thing where it's just the hilt and that plugs directly into the scabbard. So the scabbard could be smaller and slimmer, just look overall better. Because the characters with the big, huge hilts and stuff, not huge hilts, huge scabbards and stuff. It looks really ugly, in my personal opinion, but I'm happy that they're doing that. But they don't talk about any of the extra hands that he comes with, plus the wings or anything, but I know the wings are obviously an option. You can tell by the pictures. And hands, it's, an, it's a Figma. They obviously come with extra hands. But well, I guess they didn't want to talk about all other hands it's coming with. Like, it's going to have, like, sword-wielding hands, obviously, open hands, fists, and probably some other stuff that we don't know yet. Just wait until the figure comes out. This is a figure I am definitely getting. Here, recently, I had to, like, cancel a bunch of pre-orders for figures that I seriously can't afford. Like, I'm not going to be able to get the Link Between Worlds Link. I'm not going to be able to get the... Majora's Mask Link Nendroid, which I, I do want those figures. I mainly want the Link Between Worlds, mainly because of the accessories for the direct, Director's Cut version. Majora's Mask Link, it's just adorable. I really want that, but I just can't afford it. But I am getting SH Figure Arts Bowser. I'll be doing a review for that. I was about to say unboxing, but I don't really do unboxings anymore, so I'm sorry. But figures, reviews are coming up soon. This is a figure I'm seriously going to bend over backwards to get because I do want to have a complete Sword Art Online collection. I want to have complete Sword Art Online, Naruto, and Mario. And as long as Naruto or uh, Mario doesn't have any Comic-Con exclusive figures, I should be A-OK. -okay. 
but I don't trust Tamashii Nations. Tamashii Nations is a sketchy freaking toy company because they do that with Dragon Ball Z figures all the time. Make them toy, uh, the, make a Comic Con exclusive, charge over a hundred dollars for it, and it's just not a fun time. Then they go for mad more money on eBay. So I don't know what to say. Like. Ah, I hate them so much. <laughs> and the figure quality is nowhere as good as Figma. Let me know in the comments, are you getting this figure? Because this is a figure I am definitely getting. I love Sword Art Online. And I'm trying to figure out a way. How am I going to have this on my shelf? Because look, I don't have much room. And I want to make sure they all fit just well. And then soon enough after this, Leafa is going to be coming out. And if a Sword Art Online 3 is coming, then sweet. But if not, oh well. To be honest... I hope they don't come out with more because, look, I don't have much room on my shelf behind me. As always, links are in the description for all the listings that I would recommend. Even though I don't recommend Big Bad Toy Store, I'm still going to have them as a last resort. And if for some reason, like, everybody sold out, Anime Poco might be your last option. It was for me for some toys. And unfortunately, their, their customer service is terrible. And you'll pre-order a figure from them. The figure will come out, but then they won't release it for some reason, at least in my personal experience. Like, I pre-ordered the ALO Asuna Kakashi SH Figuarts, Kakashi being the most pain to get out of all the figures I've ever gotten before in my life. I finally got a hold of one that's up on the shelf. I gotta do a review for that then, so give me a little bit of time, I'll do it. What's nice is, like, they do have the figures in stock. Like, if you're, if everyone else is sold out and Anime Poco is the only one to have it, Sure, go ahead and pre-order it from there, but be prepared to be on their ass about getting your figure because they are absolutely terrible with that kind of situation. Like, oh yeah, I forgot, we're a toy company. Um, oh, you want that figure? Oh, you gave us your money for it already? Um, it's on back order. Like, they seriously did that to me for Kakashi. Like, I ordered, I pre-ordered it before it came out, and then they never sent it. And then, like, I checked the listing online. And it says that it's in stock, and so I complained to him about it three times, never got an answer back, and then I threatened to cancel my order because I was still waiting on Kakashi and Asuna, because I also uh, ordered Samus, but they just sent Samus by, by itself. I was threatening to cancel my order, and then they're all like, okay, we'll send the figures. They only sent Asuna, then I get the thing saying, oh, Kakashi's on back order. Then I complained to them saying how I complained that I wanted this figure when it said that it was in stock. Now it's on back order and I gave you my money ahead of time. I didn't order it after the figure came out, like probably some other people. No, no, I gave you my money ahead of time before the figure came out and I still don't have my figure. So they gave me my money back, thank God. So then I just bought the figure off eBay. So if you're still looking for a Kakashi SH figure arts, they're on eBay. Don't worry about bootlegs being on there. As long as it's not from China, Taiwan, or Hong Kong, you'll be fine. Well, I really have a grudge on this site, don't I? <laughs> I think this whole time, this whole video is just me complaining about other sites, and I'm barely talking about the figure itself. So I deeply apologize for that. I I hate some toy sites sometimes. I really do. After the pain with trying to get Kakashi. Ugh. And if you're new and you like what you saw, then don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And yeah, subscribe. I don't know how to talk. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter if you're not already. Links will be in the description. And if you have Snapchat, add Kyle's Game Room so you can hit me up whenever you want. I'm mostly free, so I should be okay. And for those of you who are actually like decent followers of the channel, for one, thank you for subscribing a long time ago. And second. Uh, content will be coming up again really soon. I gotta do a Kakashi figure review soon enough. Like, give me a couple of days to do that. Um, I was actually gonna wait for, for a little, like, probably like another week or two to finally start making YouTube videos consistently. But um, I think I should be okay now. As you can tell by this video, like, like I don't want to say I'm happy go lucky again, but I'm in the most decent mood I've ever been in in the past like two or three weeks. So. I guess it's a decent time to start making videos again. Um, I don't really have much to say after that, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.